Well, good afternoon. I am out here in the garden and realize I don't have my boots on. And I really should have put my boots on. I'm gonna walk you out here, show you around a little bit. So it is tomato trellising time. I've been working really hard on my tomatoes and um, I staked all my determinate tomatoes and did a one round of the Florida weed on them. And uh, that's just how I've always done that. There are plenty of videos out there on Florida weave. And so, um, but I just run wood stakes and then weave between the stakes um, with some twine. And like I said, you can find all kinds of videos out there that are much better than what I would do on the Florida weave. I've done this um, past couple years and it's really worked well. So that's how I stake my determinate tomatoes. Now, indeterminates. You ever have a really bad idea? I might have had a really bad idea. We'll see how this goes. Um, I, I'm not suggesting you go out and try this. I did something similar to this last year where I drove a T-post in the ground. What I used on the top of the, run across the top was a rope, and then I run lines down. That did not work. There was too much movement in there. So this year, I was, I've seen people that, uh, seen YouTube gardeners that have um, run conduit across the top of T-posts and then drop the line down, and that's how they trellis. So I said, I'm gonna try that. But then I said, well, I wonder how tall of a T post I can get. So, <laughs> that's a 10 foot T post. Don't, don't buy the 10 foot T post. I was like, man, I wanna get really tall. I wanna see how tall of a indeterminate tomato trellis I can get going, right? I, I wanna see how tall I can get an indeterminate tomato to grow. So that's what I did. I bought these 10 foot T posts too tall i have i was out here with a ladder putting these things up yeah a ladder let me show you what that looks like i don't recommend doing that okay um it 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 was dangerous um do not do like i did on that deal um the uh thankfully i've got a really sturdy ladder and so that was why i was able to do it if you do not have a sturdy ladder do not do it also my ground um is that hard clay so this time it was a blessing for me um that it was sturdy okay was stable now i i've got one tooth i've got six t-posts that i drove and then, so I drove five from the ladder uh, with the T-post driver, just like I always have. And then I got to the last one. I said, I wonder, could I just step this in? So I had on my boots and I stepped on the, the T-post has the plate that keeps it from moving once you get it in the ground. So I was able to step on it. The ground was soft enough because we had had a lot of rain. I was able to step on it to drive it down to the plate um, without actually having to climb the ladder on that very last T-post. So that did work. But now I've got to get my ladder back out here and I'm gonna put PVC T's on top of the T-post, okay? And then I'm gonna run my conduit and then run lines down. This is going, this is, like I said, I don't think the juice is worth the squeeze on this project, but I've already started it. I've already bought the material. I'm not going to do it differently this year. Um, I don't think I'm gonna get a nine foot uh, tomato growing out here, but well, like I said, good idea. There's good ideas and there's bad ideas. And I think that was a bad idea. So I'll do my best. And I'll show you what this looks like once I get it up. I did, I did cage a few indeterminate tomatoes that are sort of outside of this trellis area or outside of where I've got conduit for. And so um, I do have a few cages up. And again, it's just some wire cages and um, I've got them tied to a stake. And that's what I did for my tomatoes. So I will, uh, I'm gonna get all this put up. I'm gonna get the ladder back out here. Then I will bring you back and show you what this trellis looks like. 
catch you in a minute. Bye. Well, they are up there. I do not recommend this at all, especially at this height. It's just too tall to work. Um, I am not on my ladder. I'm on my little stand that if you don't have one of these, I highly recommend it. Uh, it's very good to work on and easy and st stable. But I just, I can barely reach this and the couplings keep coming loose on me as I, as I get going. Um, I don't have my post spaced out right. It's just, but it's too tall. This is just too tall. This is a bad idea, <laughs> a really bad idea. Um, now I've got to run my string down. So I got to get right back up there and continue working. I'll be right back. Woo! <laughs> Again, don't try this. Oh man, I just don't think the juice is gonna be worth the squeeze on that that little project. Um, I, I like the conduit, and I think the ropes. Um, I, it feels pretty sturdy, sturdy enough for a tomato. But that height, working at that height, and just I, I'm a short guy. If you haven't noticed. Um, so I just don't know that I will do this again. I probably just bought some 10 foot T posts that I'm gonna end up cutting off to a shorter height because it's just, it's more than I could work with. Um, the conduit was a pain to get it up there. Um, not, not to mention driving the post. So I hope you enjoyed that little circus of me putting this string up there because that was a circus. Um, I didn't record much audio here because I probably couldn't have played it, just kidding. But it's up there now. And as these tomatoes start to grow, I mean, it looks good. I'm not going to, I think it looks pretty good down through there. I just, like I said, I don't think the juice is worth the squeeze on this one. But um, I will continue to update you how this goes. This all may fall down in the next windstorm. I just don't know. Um, it, some of that conduit's in a bind up there, the way it's sitting. I don't have the post supporting it right. So, oh me. Well, that one's done. So I will let you know how my tomato, tomato trellising continues to go. So thanks for watching this one. Pre please leave me a comment if you stop by here. I really appreciate just knowing that, that folks are watching. If you got any questions, I'll try to answer them. Um, but like I said, don't try this one at home. Talk to you later. Bye. Well, good morning. I just uh, I wanted to come back real quickly and update you on my tomato trellis. I, I did go make one one improvement to it. Those couplings just they weren't holding very well, so I found some uh, three quarter inch conduit that I had out in the barn and uh, cut some short pieces of it and then spliced that into the joints and that really did help sturdy it up at least so i don't feel like it's going to fall now and i'll show you show you what that looks like y'all take care i'll catch you on the next one bye